So after having introduced yourself and also your company, we of course want to learn how you come, how you came to use uh, Pierce Claim, and uh, especially also why you decided to use Pierce Claim, and also when you decided to use yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Um, since we started with the normal peers, let's say, with the info control and the document control in the very beginning, it was, it was, I think it was around about the year 2000, mm -hmm. um, then it was quite obvious that something is, is missing out, and therefore we were highly delighted, to, let's say, that the company service was, was doing the peers scan because, let's say, this was a missing link, according to our view, and especially with regard to these issues, how to handle these claims. So and I think we started in the about 2005, or not, not quite a long time after we introduced Pierce, of course. So this was quite a good step on board, and it's a deep experience shows that, let's say, we're quite happy with that too. Yeah. Well, I'm very glad to hear. <laughs> and uh, before you introduced Pierce Claim, um, what did you use, or did you use anything to manage uh, the variations or the claims or the changes that were asked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but but to be honest, it was more like in the Middle Ages, like something, <laughs> something like that, when thinking of Excel files and so on. And Excelists. Was, yeah, Excelists, and um, of course, maybe stored it in a central place where everybody could look into it. But mm -hmm. let's say it was always lacking that, let's say, yeah, the, uh, the necessity and that the, uh, let's say, the sense of the need was not known to everybody. Let's say this was, let's say, more something like a like the change of an habitude and change of a method, and it was more ex more difficult to let's say to get it done. So therefore, with the let's say quite well structured things or let's say the event handling or let's say at first to recognize every deviation or every variation with or by an event, it was quite good. Let's say and of course let's say to decide let's say what happened, what shall happen. Is it either either only an internal deviation let's say with an with an impact on the cost, I'd say, is it everybody involved, everybody in that sense, with regard to clients, engineering partners, or suppliers. So, would you say that the biggest challenge you faced with the, let's say, the old system or the old way was uh, that people were not aware how to, or even what is an event, and when do I need to uh, document it, and how do I need to document yeah, exactly. it? Everybody was aware, let's say, that let's say deviation should have been noted or let's say yes. filed or stored somewhere. But let's say the even the even the, the meanings and the uh, definitions were quite interesting, or let's say it had it had shown a quite a variety of, of these things. So and the implication or let's say the incorporation and the application of the tool helped us, let's say, to structureize, let's say, more the official process, let's say, mm -hmm. how let's say variation shall be really dealt with. Mm -hmm. And this helped us as well, as well. Sorry, this helped us quite a lot with regard to, let's say, the handling itself. So, would you say that uh, um, your claim and change processes internally changed after introducing this? Definitely, this claim? definitely, yeah. And because, let's say, it was everybody was aware. Let's say, mm -hmm. let's say, it was a great variety, and of course, let's say, this uh, personal handling was a, well, showed a great variety of it. Mm -hmm. Together with the usage of the tool, it was much more obvious, let's say, or let's say more common, and let's say everybody could focus on the real things, what is needed in that specific regard. Yes. For example, let's say the engineers mm -hmm. were quite well in charge of say, knowing what to deliver when and to whom. Of course. Right. So it's more transparent to all the users what has to be done and when it has Abs to be done. Absolutely, absolutely. And especially with regard, let's say, to variations towards climate, to, towards customers, for example, to know exactly, let's say, when do they have received these issues, or this kind of information, what was their reaction, let's say, is there open issues still? And it uh, was much more, let's say, valuable with regard to the, to the handling and the, the follow-up of all these issues. Yeah. When thinking of big projects, for example, it's... Uh, Easy to lose track. <laughs> Easy to lose track, let's say, and of course, let's say, take into account usually the, the duration of the project, the use and time needed for that, mm -hmm. which might up lead to several years. And then thinking of, let's say, um, let's say, a fight for, let's say, specific or critical resources on the other hand, and of course, let's say, it needs to be ensured that all the information, let's say, is up to date, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that would help quite a lot, yeah. Again, very glad to hear. 
um, one big part of the uh, peers claim uh, methodology is that uh, we put all the team members together. So basically it means that all team members uh, need to be aware of the system, aware of the processes and being able to use peers claim. Yeah. Would you say that is beneficial? Absolutely, because let's say that uh, the information is stored, of course, or by this event at the form of um, items like a, uh, internal variation, that of conformity, or whatever, all these specific needs for further processing. And let's say everybody is aware of the same information. Let's say there's no lack of left information, let's say, which is only known to some specific or some technology providers mm -hmm. and let's say some experts. Yeah. So it makes it helps quite a lot, let's say, to share the all the variety, but usually it's of course it's not black and white, but let's say that everybody's aware and let's say to the specific level or even let's say there is no detail missing, let's say mm -hmm. it's up to them. Mm -hmm. Let's say of course the uh, the expertise is there on a very detailed level, mm -hmm. but of course let's say up to a top management level, let's say where information can be or can, can really aggregate it up to the top, yeah, on, so, on a quick, quick basis. So basically you have the entire documentation of an event or of a variation or of a change centrally and uh, all people can um, add their information True, concerning course, yeah. um, the issue. And of course, the sorry for interrupting, but of course the advantage is, let's say, that all the specific details can easily be attached and linked to all the specific events, so, so why not? So, so it helps quite a lot, definitely. Yeah. Very good.